What's up guys? Uh, today we're going to take my Epilogue Legend uh, series EXT and we're going to do a full cleaning plus the alignment and uh, we're going to go ahead and my machine has been uh, going out of alignment every two or three jobs and I have to keep aligning it over and over and over. We're going to go ahead and fix that today as well. So uh, just stick with me and we're going to go step by step. Now step one, you want to be able to access the inside of your panel right here. So we're going to take all of these screws out here. And when you're talking about the alignment, you have a few different spots that you start tinkering with. Now, when you first start your alignment, if it's not real bad out of whack, you're going to use these three screws right here, these three on this mirror housing, and then there are three right here that you'll use every now and then, but not very often. They very rarely get out of whack. In addition to that, there's actually a set all the way down here that's up inside here. And these like to get loose on us every now and then. And it's just a pain in the butt when they do. So, before we get to the alignment, let's go ahead and clean out all of this trash. Now, I like to use an air nozzle. And put in our target right here. We're going to go ahead and turn the laser pointer on. And then I'm going to turn XY off and hit go. Okay, now you can already see that we're out of whack here. We're up and to the left. Then we go to the next position. The next position looks like it's just a little low. And then as you move forward, you can see the dot moves down and to the right. And then as this moves to the main starting point, it just goes up a bit. So that's what we're starting from. And we're just going to have to tinker and get this all sorted out. I'm going to go ahead and move the camera out of my way. Now, remember, we do tiny, tiny adjustments. Never big adjustments. The first thing I want to mess with is the back camera, or the back one. And I'll bring it down slightly. And you're doing tiny, tiny adjustments. I'm not going to... You know, I cannot say this enough. So, let's look at these. Alright, so your first spot, it's inside this circle. 
when you come further away from the power supply, still inside the circle. You bring it all the way over here, the farthest away from the power supply. It's nice and near the middle. And then still in the circle. So we're aligned and now it's time to epoxy all the screws in place so they don't come loose. Basically, I want to make sure that these screws don't ever come loose if I can help it. Now that that's done, you'll go ahead and you'll clean your optics. As you can see, my optics are already clean. Um, so you just put it back in, tighten it back down, it's all good. Now I'll check my back optics, loosen the screw, bring it up. There's a little dust on there we can get rid of. So let's do that really quick. And it's literally just dust from the uh, air compressor now we're good and clean there put it back on yonder and we tighten it down and then we clean our lens and we'll take our screws out of here and we're going to go ahead and clean the encoder strip Now your back screws do not need to be taken out, they just need to be loosened. And you loosen it and the, the housing pops right off. And we have access to the encoder strip, which is this right here. And we also have access to cleaning our belt, which you can see is super dirty. So I am going to use a cutoff of this cotton cloth. All right, so we're gonna use the distilled water, a little bit of cotton cloth, and we're just gonna to go to town on it. Now for the belt, it's real easy. You just kinda of go straight across it like so. And this is really just cleaning off the dust and stuff that gets under it. And then clean up under the main bar. It's all kind of junk under there, you can see. Now, for the actual encoder strip, we're going to use the same distilled water, but we're going to use some Q-tips. And the Q-tips are great because you can actually get in there really nice. So you're going to start with one half. You dip it into the distilled water and you just go just like so. You're going to wet the whole half of it. All right, and that's going to get all of this junk off of there. Then you're going to come behind it and you're just going to dry it out. And that's going to actually get even more junk off of there. Just like so. Alright. Then we're going to move the housing over here. And we're going to dip the next Q-tip. Get it nice and wet. And straight in here. And then we dry it. Okay, now, now that we've done both halves, we're going to take a completely clean new Q-tip and we're just going to hit it again to make sure that it's nice and dry, nice and cleared off. Remove the housing back, we flip the Q-tip over, 
and we use the other side of it to do the back. Now you'll know you've got it right if nothing really comes off on your Q-tip. Then we're good and clean, and that's your encoder strip. Now a dirty encoder strip will cause some serious issues. It'll make your image shuddery, like that. It's the same thing will happen if you have a loose belt. So these are two things that you need to look out for if your image starts to get funky looking. All right, then we're gonna gently ease this back over the back here. All right, you just loosen those two screws and this whole thing slides forward. And actually I was wrong, I am gonna clean the inside of this. You can't really see it, but there's a little bit of dirt in there. And I just like to keep my stuff clean if I can handle it, you know. And I've got this epilogue cleaner deal. Let's see if I can get it to... There you go. One little drop is more than enough. And you just take it and you work it around the inside and then the outside. And then we just put it right back on the same way we took it off. It's got this little guide bar here that literally just slides right in like that. You can hand tighten the screws to start. And then just finish them off with your driver. They do not have to be super, super tight. You just want them tight enough that they don't come loose when the laser's doing its job. Other than that, the cleaning is really just getting the dust off the housings and things of that nature. We all know how dust likes to accumulate in these guys. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and close it up. Put the side panel back on. And this machine is ready to go.